1972, uh, you directed Anything Goes, and your husband Ron produced. And this was uh, the first show of uh, the Teen Summer Theater in Port Washington. Could you discuss the creation of the Teen Summer Theater, and where did it come from? Right. Well, uh, I had done Peter Pan as the Play Troop Children's Show, and one of the teenage girls who was part of the cast, um, who was a pirate because we had lots of teenage girls and so we used them as pirates, um, she uh, started to contact us and talk about that there was nothing in theater for students who didn't want to sail or play tennis or something all summer long. Uh, there was nothing for them to do. So she was persistent and Ron and I started talking about it. And at one point, you know, in trying to think of what we could do, Ron, who was an established member of the uh, Banshell Committee, the Sousa Banshell Committee, said, I'm going to go to the, uh, to the board, to the Banshell, um, with the idea that we put on a musical with teenagers in the Banshell. Um, and we did it now well the, to the, the conflict. The, the idea of the Banshell, did that come about because... Other venues would just be too expensive or weren't available? They certainly would. We didn't know how much there would be. I was, Ron and I were pretty new to Play Troop, and so the children's show already was established as being held either in the Main Street School Auditorium or the Weber um, Auditorium. And so we really didn't know, but Ron was very familiar with the band shell. Mm -hmm. So pretty quickly he turned that into a, a reality. And I think that probably key to that was that Gay Pearsall, who... Um, Very well-known Port Washington resident. Yes, yes. And the champion of the creation of the Sousa Band Show. Actually, I believe Ron met her like in 1967, mm -hmm. which is when I was graduating from Schreiber, mm -hmm. when they were collecting dimes to build the Sousa Band Show. Wow. So um, I, I think he always credited Gay with being his big supporter in getting us right. into the Band Show. And Anything Goes was his suggestion as a wonderful script that he knew from his college days and read it, laughed out loud, and uh, continued to go with that. Right, uh, which, and it was uh, uh, music and lyrics by Cole Porter. Right? Yes, yes, and Lindsay and Krauss did the script. It was mm -hmm. very funny. The music was wonderful. It was a real, really kind of spoiled you as a first uh, show. So, so what... What was required of both you and Ron was uh, to put this entire new organization together. Yeah. Um, obviously, you needed set design. That had its own challenges because you're talking about an outdoor arena. Yes. Um, you had to put together a pit band. Uh huh. All right, and and your first musical director was uh, David Barnett. David Barnett, right? right. Recommended by um, uh, Phil Glover, right? Who was a teacher in town. Mm hmm. Right. Very well known teacher. And he said, "There's a tenth grader who can really uh, who can do really a swing," job. and he did <laughs> for many, many, many years. Yeah. Still working with him right. now. Right. So uh, that's literally from the time he was 15 years old, and he probably wouldn't want me to admit how much, but how much over, but uh, right. he's broken the 60-year mark, so... Um, Ouch. <laughs> so. Now, Anything anything Goes was, was a little unique because, uh, if I recall, we, we did two productions uh, with different casts. Oh, yes, again, uh, the falling victim to being so young and energetic <laughs> that you don't realize... These things can't be done this way. Right. Right. <laughs> um, uh, because I had been in summer stock, um, actually, I was introduced to a choreographer by uh, Jerry Stone, high school teacher, mm -hmm. and I got taken off into an equity summer stock. And, and so, with all professionals, we uh, basically uh, rehearsed for a week, teched for a week, and then did a show. So I thought when I couldn't quite put together a schedule for all of the teenagers that were showing up to audition for um, Anything Goes, I thought, well, let's have two casts. And I said, well, if we did it in two weeks, I can do it in four. So I had a cast for the end of July, right. switched and did a cast for the end of August. And 
it came off wonderfully and as I said it's only a testimonial to not realizing that it shouldn't be doable <laughs> <laughs> Well, you didn't know you couldn't do it. That's right. So, so you we did it. Just did it. And the the, the next year, when um, I don't think it was for anything goes. I think it was for Bye Bye Birdie. Um, we couldn't afford. Maybe it was anything goes. We couldn't afford to rent the arrangements. The music arrangements. The music arrangements. So another foolish young man who didn't realize he couldn't do everything. I said. We can't afford to rent the arrangements. Could you write arrangements for us? Mm -hmm. And David said, oh, sure. And he used to sit in the music room at the high school in between taking his driver's ed course, mm -hmm. listen to the record, and then he would write out the arrangements. <laughs> well, thank God he didn't know he couldn't do it. That's <laughs> Exactly.